Right, so I've been doing a bit of measuring. Everything seems to be a bit out of line. Now when you look along the body here, down here, you get the full side, you just come to interview, you can't see the bulkhead down the end, you've got to come right out and now the bulkhead is coming into view. This side, driver's side, oh when it comes into focus there we go, if you look down the bodywork you can actually see the bulkhead if this would actually come into focus, there we go, you can just see the edge of the bulkhead so the body is actually in line with the outside of the bulkhead. So that means um, the front of the body is, is over, and I've been measuring underneath, I'll show you in a sec, is actually over to the passenger side slightly. It's actually about four mil. I'll show you where I measured. But the rear, I can't go wrong with the rear because the holes are the original holes and everything just lined up perfect on the on the rear so I'm assuming everything's good at the rear end. Now then we'll get underneath. Right uh, we're underneath this is on the passenger side so you can see that measures from the edge like the bodywork about 91 mil thereabouts so we'll go to the other side and now this side if you measure that uh, if I get it right level there now there we are that's about 94 mil so I've got a 3 mil difference now if I undid all these bolts and then moved the whole thing over just two mil so that I mean that's 94 I've got three mil so one and a half mil it needs to move over to actually marry up and be the same either side now there could be a bit of discrepancy in where the brackets are welded blah 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 bearing in mind I did have to re-drill these a bit on the fronts because I've done so much repair work I don't think I've got the holes actually quite right they were near enough if you like so I've had to elongate a couple of them but now measuring it I mean that is let's bring that down a bit see that's 94 and the other side 91 can't see it's going to make a bloody lot of difference. Um, let me get back up. Right, back up. Uh, I can't see that actually moving it over just one and a half, two mil is going to make a lot of difference. I'm thinking the body itself is all over the place. Because if you look, you can't see it very well from here. But if you if you follow the line, uh, the galvanised strip, this actually bows inwards in the middle. It curves in. Now that does that on both sides. So I'm thinking the whole um, rear tub is probably misshaped slightly, and on on the other side as well. It's a job to see it on the camera, but when you're standing outside and just looking at it, you can actually see it's, it's got a slight curve in it as well. You know, the, um, the outside tubs. So I'm, I'm wondering if this is where it's been suspended or something or pulled in the middle to line it up. I, d I don't know. But I can't see the uh, moving that whole tub, just one and a half, two mil maybe over to the passenger side is going to actually cure the um, the alignment here you know down the side to the bulkhead I mean when you stand and look at it 
you can see it visible but I'm wondering once the doors are on windows are on and everything else is it is it going to be that bad so what I did I actually ran a piece of string from down here from here all the way to the front and then when I got to the front with a bit of string I got Paula to hold the tape uh, the string one end I had it lined on on here sitting on here and then with the string taut it was about on the bulkhead it was about I suppose the thickness of my finger out probably about 10 mil if that five or ten mil you know what I mean just uh, out on here so when you you can't see it from there no, there's no point doing that but so it was out this the bulkhead looked like it was needed it was too far in if you like you know what I mean so a string line coming straight down here I had like a gap here where my finger was of about five to ten mil so then on the other side I could run the st string all the way down from the back to the bulkhead touch the bulkhead and my, bearing in mind this bulkhead's had a roll wallop here at one point so the whole bulkhead might be over having said that the bolt holes you know when I swapped it over the bolt holes went straight in I had no trouble getting putting the bolt holes in but going back to this yeah from from the rear to the bulkhead here I run a piece of string and I had about the same amount of gap here which was still telling me that the whole bulkhead needs to come over now if I move the bulkhead over to the driver's side the seat box is already in and it's bolted up all along the back which again all the bolt holes lined up beautiful so the seat box is exactly in line with the rear tub but down here where the um, they put their brackets in to, to put the bolt in through the seat box here you can't see it very well but if I can just lift it a touch ah there it is push it down you can see where the hole is so the hole is actually nearer to the passenger side meaning the whole seat box has got to be pushed over to the passenger side which would make the body and everything else worse or it's just that the seat box is probably out of shape I think what it is is everything's out of shape I'm just wondering should I undo the bolts on the front of the rear tub and just line everything up with a piece of string front to back so that everything lines up you know with a string line from the bulkhead to the rear on both sides if them two are correct then the doors are going to be sitting flat aren't they you know on both sides however I never did this when it was together in the whole time that I had it I never looked at how straight it was because when you look at landers they always seem to be a bit all over the place and but if I start moving that tub over to the passenger side so everything lines up the bolt holes here and the seat box and everything is going to be misaligned even more it's going to be well out of the way so everything's got to come towards the driver's side which will put that hole out even further because it's already needs pushing over to the back passenger side to put it in I'm assuming them seat box holes are correct in fact you can actually see it on the other side if I just zoom in a little bit on that there look see I know the holes a bit um, rotted away but all the same it don't line up everything needs to go to the passenger side but if I've got to move the front of the tub it's got to come towards the driver's side 
so it's it's not lined up i'm thinking about just bloody leaving it and see how things line up so at the end of the day then if i do need to move it i've got to undo them front bolts and re-drill them on the tub so what are your views